Hey everybody and welcome back to a complete denture journey. This is the restorative dentistry New York City College of Technology complete dentures one course. This is instructional video eight of the instructional video set for this class. This is about articulation in the absence of a face bow. The first step of articulation is to notch the base of our models. Notching or scoring the bottom of the cast will make it for easy removal and return of the model to the plaster mounts once the case is articulated. Next, we should set our articulator to our average settings. The semi-adjustable articulator can simulate the angle of eminentia from 0 to 60 degrees and the lateral Bennett angle of 0 to 30 degrees. The angle of eminentia should be set to 30 while the Bennett should be set to 15. The vertical should be set to 0. The incisal rod should be set to the red line, also known as 0. This will serve as your recorded VDO position. The marker shown on the articulator here on the incisal rod and the condylar elements will serve as the markers to properly place the rubber band you will need to articulate. The rubber band will be placed accordingly and it will aid in the visualizing of a flat occlusal plane during the mounting procedures. The rubber band and the incisal guide pin aid in forming the bond wheel triangle. The bond wheel triangle is formed by the rubber band and aids in the view of this triangle which is a 4 inch equilateral triangle from condyle to condyle to lower central incisors. This is an average measurement which aids in the mounting procedures in the absence of a face bow. Before mixing plaster, you should do a trial run and place the models exactly where they should be within the Bonwell triangle. Once ready, mix your plaster and apply it to the bottom of the mandibular model, ensuring that it enters the notches created on the base of the model. Then take the plaster and stack it high enough to support the model at the height of the rubber band. Once the plaster is stacked high enough and the plaster is stiff enough to support the mandibular model, it can be positioned accordingly. It should be noted that the maxillary cast is not in position at the moment. It could add extra weight and cause the models to slump as you start positioning it on the plaster. The model should be set within the Bonwell triangle. The guide pin should point to the lower midline at the incisal edges, or in this case, at the midline at the top of the occlusion rim, while the plane of occlusion should match the rubber band. Once the models have been positioned properly, we then can continue to clean up the plaster. While the plaster is still soft, you can remove the excess and smooth the articulation taking caution not to move the models out of position. For a clean finish without the use of sandpaper, you can smooth the plaster with water while it's still setting to achieve a clean finish. Once the lower model is mounted correctly and cleaned, the maxillary cast can be attached to the maxillary occlusion rim and the plaster can be applied to the base of the model, making sure that the plaster engages the notches or scoring that was done prior. The plaster should be stacked in order to reach the mounting plate on the maxillary portion of the articulator. The plaster can then be cleaned. Once the plaster is clean and set, the articulation is complete, and we are ready to move to our next step in the denture fabrication process.